Where are we up to on this fine Italian morning? The best place ever. Versace, 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 Versace. The Versace showroom. We get so excited. We get all. I get my, what, my hands start my, to clam up. This is what I do when I think about us going to Versace. <laughs> Mr. What is the guy from Simpsons that does that? Mr. Burns, that's you. So excited. Mr. Burns, Mr. Shay Marie Burns. <gasps> would that be what I would do? That's cool. This is my body after fashion week. Wait, do you think that this is Wait, overkill? I'm not gonna be able to eat if I wear this. Guys, this is a lot. You can see all the veins. I think we should just do. I mean, I think we should just do it. <laughs> I think we're only young and hot once. That's and what I always say. Yeah, and we're getting older and older. So like, if we could still do this, we should yeah. do it. I say let's do it. That's if we don't do it, who else is gonna do it? Trick question. Ain't nobody else gonna do it. So I was drunkenly editing my photo from oh my Montclair gosh. last night. Your your waist is the same size as your. And dad. I edited in my waist, and lo it looks very, very, very tight. As compared to the original, which is this one. That was definitely like, you couldn't have done that so. No more drunk editing. Okay. Another thing I made on my phone was this collage from a shoot I did. <laughs> Isn't the resemblance uncanny? I couldn't even believe that we had like the same outfit situation. Once we have the own, our own sounds, it'll sound better. Really though, you need to focus more on the rhythm because you're coming in too soon in certain parts. Okay. You gotta let the time go out. You know what so I'm it's the same throughout. So I don't know why was I was. You're, I, you're just coming in too early. You're not. You're not keeping in time the tempo. Okay. Can we try again and then yeah. we'll see. I'll no bear that in mind. Next two are just hoping you may be. Okay. Austin, give me a hug right now. I'm on your. Uh, Let me finish, finish the song first. It's work time. I got lipstick on here. walking in the show have you been practicing and how do you feel I practiced at my fitting yesterday I feel okay about it um, I just are you yeah. nervous it's outside out it's freezing out I know it's like in a palazzo kind of thing okay so the way I would think about it is okay think, what's the worst possible thing that could happen when you're walking like for anyone that's nervous about anything I always think what's you the fall. worst po okay and what happens if you fall you get back up that's right! Good answer! <laughs> See, it's not so bad. It's like, it's not the end of the world. That's like. You did a great walk for Dolce. I've not done this yet. Hey! hey. 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 So, I'm just learning all about the. Oh, you guys, James is the creative director of Iceberg. And Sam is the number two. Number two? Number two. The real like deal. So I've, I've just been welcomed into the fold. Thanks oh, for that. We love and having you here. So there's an iconic history, and that now you've come to breathe new life into yeah. the brand. Yeah, and this is my first Women's Wear Milan show, and you're the first opener. Ah! 
for me. And yeah, it's been, it started in 74 with lots of different creative directors. but the, Including but not limited to? Mark Jacobs. John Charles de Casabac. I'm just doing this. <laughs> John Bassi's de Valley. It's been, like, and it's, it's actually amazing in the archives to see all the different sections of how they interpreted Iceberg. So, but yeah, this is my That section. seems like a, rea like a great idea for a reality show. All the uh, impressive designers come in and try to interpret a brand in their way. Yeah. Some, you know what I'm, you know what I'm going with that's this? That's the game, that's the game. What would you do? Oh, Lord. I'm still extremely nervous. Okay. It's a wet cobblestone situation. And I've been known to be clumsy in my time. So so it's very hectic back here and it's pretty crazy to think that all of this work, I'm looking up here at the call sheet, it's an all day thing and it's all for a 15 minute show. Which is pretty crazy. Notice how all the models look really, really calm. And then my picture is <laughs> frantic running God knows where. This is an archive jumper piece. So there's kind of three different techniques all in one garment. So it's a real like cut and shut. Iceberg is famous for the jumpers. Famous for jumpers, yeah. And Caroline's the, the, the girl that we wanted to be. It really embodies. You can go ahead and use the word muse, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with it. It's a heavy bird and a bear, but like, I'll get through it. I said that too. I actually feel like I'm gonna vomit. Today is really scary, um, but I guess this is the venue where I'm going to be walking, so let's see. I'll just hold it. Okay. Nice. Now, now you walk back and look towards me. Open the show for Iceberg, and I don't know what I was so worried about. It was really fun, and I want to do it again. <laughs> oh, but we're about to do the finale, so I'm gonna go out there again. I'm all alone today, which I don't like. Sometimes Carol and I get split up doing different jobs and things. We can't always do everything together, but um, yeah, I'm going to the Dolce & Gabbana show and she is walking in a show today, so it kind of sucks. I'm gonna try to make it there so I can see her, um, but traffic is bad in Italy, times are tight, and yeah. Uh-oh, this doesn't seem right. Is this the address? Uh because there's, uh oh, Josh, we have a problem. We're supposed to be at the Dolce & Gabbana show, but there's not one other person on the street and one, um, look, look around, it's very, um, maybe I gave you the wrong address? It's the Metropole? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Just a moment. Okay. Andre, are you sure we're at the right place? Because there's literally not one person on the street, so. Um, is this where we are? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Metropole. It says Metropole. Is this the right Sunday the... Uh, Sunday is tomorrow. Tomorrow is Sunday? Yes. <laughs> what? Oh god, let's hide before someone sees us. Oh no. I truly... don't know what day it is, clearly. So, wow. Today is Saturday. For Sunday. No, no way. Today is Saturday. And Dominica is Sunday? Yes, exactly. <laughs> I need to put my glasses on before we talk because now I'm embarrassed and I need to just <laughs> hide behind my shades. Shame shades. Oh no, I'm do literally doing the walk of shame. I how <laughs> I literally was walking on the street and there was not one single person there, so that happened. You mentioned something earlier about how you, you prefer to be on the creative side of uh, the fashion industry because 
you don't like it when people are handling you and you know putting makeup on and doing your hair and whatnot. What is what has been your experience with that? Why do you? What, it seems like you have had a negative experience. With I that just. Kind of I'm so particular about like ha how I want to look and how I like my hair and how I like my makeup and I have a hard time like straying from that um, and trying other things. I just, I feel like in all my experience in the fashion and beauty industry, I just know how to let style myself to the best, I don't know, to, the, to what's most me and to what makes me feel most comfortable. And like to be a to be a model, you really have to be able to be a chameleon and kind of be someone else's vision. And I just, I guess, always want to be my own vision. Do you think that's a that's a sacrifice that's necessary in this industry to to essentially be that malleable? Um, not for me, um, but for models, absolutely. You, for the most part, they don't get any say ever. You just, it's just you're just basically a canvas for other people's vision. Um, Maybe some of it also stem, stems from like insecurity. I think you have, like it, you have to be very secure to be a model because you're being looked at and judged all day long and critiqued, and it's hard. It's hard on any girl for sure. Since um, I got the day wrong, we're gonna rush over and try to meet Caroline now. She's at the radio station. She's gonna perform her new song. Um, and they're gonna play it live on the Italian radio. So I wasn't gonna be able to be there, but now we're gonna surprise her. So sometimes bad things turn into good things. What happened? I have my days wrong. <laughs> yeah, it happens to the best of us. Sometimes unsavable, some unbreakable love. Some unbreakable, sometimes unsavable, some unbreakable love. You're cute. <laughs> That's awesome. So we just played at the radio station live. And by really we, she means her and Austin. Yes. Not me at all. <laughs> yeah. And um, we did our song in an acoustic version. And it was Andrea, great. did you hear the song? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we should have told on which channel. Oh, yeah. So that was a first for me. Pretty cool. Baby's first it's radio fun. appearance. It's a lot of fun. Me and Jason were like your two chaperones in the other room behind the glass. And I made a video. I was like, Mom and Dad are here supporting our baby. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I wonder if people listen to it. Is it here? Yeah. Wait, wait, sorry, guys. I'm sliding and slipping into my shoes that are a size too big. Sorry, the camera's no, always no, on, the camera's no, so always on. I'm so awkward, I'm not a camera person. 